everyone it's Lisa and today is Friday happy Friday I am going to be not myself today because I've had a couple little things going on one John and I both got our second Moderna you know vaccination yesterday I wonder I don't see any mark but the first one I got it actually hurt when I got it it almost felt like a tetanus shot you know what I mean like it like I felt it like down my arm and in my bones, you know what I mean? But I didn't really have a lot of soreness or anything. I mean, I, I could barely tell I had it done, but I don't even remember taking any Tylenol or anything. Well, yesterday, you know, people talk about the second shot. So I took some Tylenol with us and John and I got our shots and we both took a Tylenol when we left. So I didn't really think much of it. And then last night I was in the bed and I had been kind of still because I usually catch up on my Instagram at night and post my pictures and stuff like that. I got up to do something and I was like, oh my gosh, my arm just was like so sore. I mean, I had already done my arm exercises, everything. I mean, I had no soreness before that, like an hour before. So I took a an Advil, I went to sleep fine, and woke up at about 4.30 this morning with that arm just killing me. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna get up. And then when I got up, my whole body is aching. I mean, down to my legs, my whole body feels real heavy. And then on top of that, sorry to be a downer, our air condition is out. It is now 80 degrees in this room. I'm not sure it was a little less hot and humid downstairs. And you know, we are renting this house while we build. So we've already put in a call to the landlord. John, it had done this a couple times before, but John knew what to do. And, but now it's just gotten to the point where he can't fix it. It is so hot. <laughs> And I am just like weird feeling. I don't know what it is. There you go. And as far as the vaccination goes, I just want to put this out there. I am 50-50 on it. If you don't think it's the thing to do, I see your point. If you think it's the thing to do, I see your point. For me, it was being around my parents so much. And I hate the mask so bad that after my two weeks is up, I'm gonna, it's, I'm not gonna be wearing that mask very much. And it may mean I don't get to go in some places, but, so anyway, I just kind of did it as precautionary for my parents. And I don't know, I've kind of thought about it over and over. I guess it was just one way to take an action to get back to normal life. But I really resent being made to get something. And I don't, with all the HEPA rules and stuff like that, I don't think you should have to disclose that. So there's my thoughts on that. I mean, I can see both sides so clearly. So let's get started here. I have some clothes to show you. I have a pair of shoes. And I am gonna start off with my outfit because it's the most exciting, I think. I saw this on one of my favorite, favorite Instagrammers. Her name is, I've talked about her before, Shalice Noel. So sweet. I, she just is never a disappointment. Like if you ever want some Instagram, just some type of, it can be casual, dressed up. If you want some inspiration, she has it. She had this on and I was immediately drawn to it. She had a blazer on, but I swear I'm literally sweating. Like I think between my boobs right now, I cannot put a jacket on. And it was just so pretty. And I looked, this is a bathing suit. It's a one piece bathing suit. I took some footage and some pictures. So I will put those right here. I was just gonna bust out and show you, but I don't want anybody to get freaked out by me taking off and putting on my pants or something anyway. And so it's from that shine. You know, Brooke has ordered some stuff from there, but I always thought it was one of those places that is never gonna fit me. And, you know, so it says bikini, but it's this bathing suit. And I think actually the exact color scheme that she was wearing was sold out. And so I got this one, but I'll put the exact one that I have on down below. Got it yesterday. I 
cannot believe the quality of this for $12. Now, because I only ordered this one thing, it was $20 because I had to pay for shipping. But I was showing it to Brooke this morning. She says, oh yeah, I always order 100. That way you get free shipping. But she did say pants. She never liked the pants from Shine. So she likes those little thought tops and stuff like that. And then this week, I was inspired by another YouTuber and blogger that I really enjoy and just such a sweet personality. I mean, to me, as soon as someone shows a negative personality, I don't care what they're wearing. I will not follow them just because I can't get it out of my head. This girl is so sweet. I believe her name is Ashley. And she did an Instagram, like a reel with these pants on. So I ordered them. They're from Zara. So here is the entire outfit. And you can see they're not, I would not say they're the best quality. They do not compare to the Express at all, but they're not, they're much thinner. Matter of fact, you can still see, you know, the bathing suit through this, but I don't care. I live in a bathing suit town. I go to the beach or the pool almost every day in the summer, so it doesn't matter to me. You know, like I said, she had a blazer on and I just think it is so pretty. And so many of you have been asking me about one piece bathing suits. Well, this is it. And maybe even that whole website. The first pair of pants that I put it on with, I really liked it better. And that is these that I got from H&M. And I just happened upon these and they are so nice. These are more of that polyester fabric. I will say they are see-through, but I think most white pants are. But these really looked better with it, but you could really, really, really see the bathing suit through it. So I decided to just put on the ones that were just a little bit less, but just beautiful, beautiful high-waisted pants from H&M. Let me hang these up. And I got this really cool little outfit. I was actually thinking about wearing this today before I got this, but this would probably be hot up here, but it's this little top. Don't be afraid. This little top. And then it's these wide leg pants and then this that goes with it how cool of a little ensemble is that see how it just ties right there so that little bit of that top and the pants are going to show through and the pants are high rise and usually h&m pants are some serious high rise let's see I'll try to match them. Okay, they're gonna be about like these. So it's not gonna show much of your tummy if you are concerned or you don't think it's proper. And I really do, I, you know, I think about, I analyze everything that people say to me or things I'm thinking. And I really, really do think that when you live or you have grown up in a beach town, you are just not as freaked out about being in your bathing suit in front of people or you're just you are not you're just comf more comfortable in your own skin I think and you guys I came across a hold on let me hang this up so there it is I came across a video last night something got me deleting my live camera shots just trying to empty some space on my phone because I am a photo Order, and I have the maximum capacity. It's not like I'm running out of room, but it's like always on the back of my mind. I was going through, and then I decided I'm gonna go through my videos. I came across a video of me at the beach. I believe Brooke and I were staying down there. Let's see, I started on my keto and carnivore and healthy journey last May. It was um, right after Memorial Day, so it was the end of May. Well, this video was on like I think July something and I remember really feeling so much better you know it's so funny how especially a video when you watch it it just you go right back there you can almost feel the emotions and how you felt that day I felt pretty good that day oh my god the difference is amazing it is amazing Brooke and John couldn't believe it so I'm gonna try to grab some stills or something of that and put that on my Instagram one day, you know, kind of like a then and now, you know, with a bathing suit on so you can just see. John said he could just see how swollen I was, how puffy and just 
unhealthy looking. I don't, I can't even describe it. It's not like I just had this huge blubbery tummy or something, or I had like one specific spot. It was just like I was swollen all over. It was just so weird. Feel proud of my accomplishments and I'm happy, so happy. I never want it to seem like Look at me, look at me. I want it to I want it to seem like look at me, look at me. You can do it. You can do it. And I want it to be like look at me, look at me. I'm 50 years old. All of you 30-year-olds or 40-year-olds don't dread your 50s. You know what I mean? I just want to be that inspiration for you. And I'm also a person who I really know my fault. I know that I'm not perfect. I can break myself down real easily, but I know in my heart that I'm happy and those things don't matter. I might have loose skin, but I don't have cellulite and I feel good. And so if I ever come, I don't want to ever come across as, you know, look at me. I want to come across as you can do it and you can still feel good. And so if you're following me on Instagram, that is, that's how I feel. And sometimes it's really hard to put that in words, especially like in a caption. And another thing about Instagram and Insta stories is I've been posting pictures of our new house. We went yesterday after our shot and could not believe just the progress. We just couldn't believe it. They had, the painters were in there. They had painted our trim painted like the base coat of our walls, but the, basically the color. All the light fixtures are in the toilets, not installed, but like sitting in boxes so it won't be long. I'm sure we're probably waiting on the painters and we're really waiting on the sliding glass doors. It's very exciting, but when I woke up this morning and I checked my DMs, so many of you, I bet every other person asked my paint colors. So I have put an email in to our rep, like 90% sure it's Sherwin-Williams paint, and I will, on my Instagram tonight, tell you all the colors. By then, I should know them. This has been my beach makeup. This is from Freeze Co. Beauty. I had been looking for something, you know, every summer I like something that has sunscreen in it, that has pretty good coverage, that my mineral powder goes over nicely, doesn't get blotchy, and I can wear it to the beach or I can wear it every day. This is so good. It's from Suntegrity. I also love their glosses. I got the new one, Pink Paradise, and that's what I wore in my, one of my bathing suit shots at the pool this week. It is just so good. Let me just show you. This, the color I have is tan. Reminds me, did anyone go through the CC and BB cream back in the day where you just couldn't believe how good the coverage was? This is somewhat like that. You can still see your skin through it, but in the most filtered, nice way. Like a lot of you, that would be enough. Well, I, you know, I like to look glam most all the time. Let me go get a wipe. I just want more. And I just like putting the mineral powder over it because I feel like it kind of sets it in place. And, you know, I just like it. So that I'm loving. And I have a good code. I believe it's 20% off that she lets me give to you guys. So that has been a winner this week. This, I've got it a little bit messy because I'm bad about using it and not putting the lid on tight. This is that City Beauty ultra dry firming dry oil for neck and decollete. I have it on today. When I told you about it, it wasn't even available yet. I'm so bad about that. So it's available, I believe, starting today and I have enjoyed it. Like you can tell that I've got something on, but it's not just like slicky, icky feeling. Matter of fact, I put it on my ankles and my feet because my feet get dry and I was just thinking, I wonder if this will help like the skin around my ankles and everything. So I'm gonna call it neck, decollete and ankle treatment, <laughs> but I have enjoyed it. One of you sweethearts on my DMs, this was when I was first catching up with them and keeping up with them. One of you told me that Mac had a new paint pot that is similar to the color of uninterrupted. And that is what I have on now. This is just a paint pot. And I did put on my Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy just on my lids and in the inner corner. So it's just these two. And here it is. And I 
put it on with my dry beauty blender like I used to do my soft ochre and I loved it. It gave me kind of a light, you know, look and I just think that's so perfect for the summer. In the summer, it's just something about it. I just don't like a lot of intricate eye makeup. I feel like the summer is for lips. Okay, and then many, many of you had sent me the H&M Diane Von Furstenberg Home Collection. And when you first told me about it, it wasn't available yet. I believe, you know, it was a coming up date. I put it on my calendar. First thing in the morning, I was ready. And every time I checked it, it hasn't, it hadn't gone on sale yet. Checked it, I checked it, I checked it. I ended up going on with my day. And then later on, I remembered it. There was not many things left. All that I could snag was this candle, which I'm not gonna, has a cover on it. I'm not gonna mess with it here. I wanna take it. Ooh, oh my gosh, this reminds me, it's deep. It's amber. It reminds me of my granddaddy on church morning when we used to go to church. He must have put some type of aftershave on that smells like that. But I'm gonna save it for my new house. You guys, I have not bought one thing. And we were supposed to move in June, you know, probably the end of June. And I just wanna get it, get it out there. I'm not gonna have much in my house for a while because there's things I don't wanna even take over there. And then I don't want to order anything, any furniture or anything until I get in the space and I really, really feel it and see what I want. I don't want to waste money because I want to get nice things. And I really um, probably will get an interior decorator. I've got a few in mind that are actually on YouTube that I want to reach out to and see if maybe we can work something out. I want it to be so simple, so serene. I want it to just have no no tchotchkes, nothing cutesy. I just want it just simple, simple, simple because I have learned that makes that makes me calm inside. You know what I mean? So anyway, I don't know how I got off on that tangent, I guess, from ordering that candle. Okay, I got a pair of shoes to show you. I actually, I ordered two Bottega Veneta or Veneta shoes and I've already shown you one pair with the black strappy ones not as comfortable as the mules, not as comfortable as the stretch mules and not as comfortable as the big bulky braided mules. I mean, I'm not sad. I got them because I'll wear them and I like had to know and they weren't that bad, but they're not as good as the other ones. This kind of leads into something else too. So, oh my goodness, you guys, these shoes are just happiness. They are pure happiness, the color, the comfort, the way you feel. And what made me really order these is carrying my Bottega clutch that is this color. My clutch is a little bit darker. My clutch is actually from season before last, so 2019, I believe, I'm pretty sure. And so when I carry it, it is just like, it goes with everything. It looks good with everything. It's just amazing and it makes me happy. And I've always loved green bags. I went ahead and went for it and no regrets. These are so comfortable, so cute. And you might think, what am I gonna wear these with? Jeans and a t-shirt. I mean, jeans and a white t-shirt, jeans and a graphic t-shirt. I mean, all black outfit with a pop of green. I mean, I just think that they're they're going to be more neutral than you think. The bag too. When I got those, I thought I want, I just was so into that color and I didn't want to paint my nails because I enjoy having these on. These are the red Aspen um, Bonjour Julie. They're, you know, nude and I enjoy that, but I wanted to do my toes. Remember years ago when I got into that green, it was more of a teal green and it was Sally Hansen, and we all got it, and I loved it. And so I thought, I wanna try green again. So I went to the nail salon, they didn't really have anything. I ended up getting some color, and I don't know, I must have down deep knew I didn't like it because that night I ended up putting socks on and messing it up. So I went to Sally's, I went to Ulta, I think just those two places, and bought some nail polishes that match the Bottega. My toes now, you've probably noticed if you follow my Instagram, I have this one, which is China Glaze in the Limelight. 
And next, I might get this one, which is OPI. This is the darker of the three. And this is probably the most subdued of all of them. This one is um, rated PG. I think this is from the latest Hollywood collection. And then this one is from the Mentos collection. And this one is meant to be. So if you're out, grab one of these because, I mean, I had been doing like Chanel Ballerina on my toes. I had gotten to the point where I didn't want any color on my toes. Then I went straight to green and I've, I've enjoyed it. It's just something you can pick up and it's just like a happy color. I have so. on the whole citrine little collection from Dean Davidson, the citrine castle ring. I love this stone. I think it's so pretty. The citrine little necklace. I can't remember what this ca is called, but see how it has like the little citrine pendant with all the little facets on it. And then I put in the little earrings that go with it. Tote that I showed you something and actually just talking to you has made me feel better. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I have a good Walmart fashion haul coming up complete with some things that my mom bought at our local Walmart that she really likes. And so I brought them home to show you those too. So that will be as soon as I get my order in. See you soon. Have a good, good weekend. Bye-bye.